Alright, what's up guys? Uh, this is Travis with my Bring Back. This is going to be your fourth Android development tutorial uh, for the basic series. And what we're going to do today is kind of do the XML layout, get you guys familiar with programming in XML. It's not too difficult, but before we do that, we just want to go up to our, uh, our window, Android SDK AVD Manager, and start our uh, emulator that we set up last time, just so it can load while we're actually programming and I'm gonna set it up to something like this hit launch and um, exit out of there here we go and basically what I want you to do is open up that XML that we set up last time if you don't know where it is uh, open your project package it'll be under your resources folder under layouts and it's called main XML so we open that up and um, I think I changed this if you guys want to have it exactly like mine I changed this back to wrap content for the second text view so you might want to do that real quick um, but I just kind of want to talk through uh, what these are and what they basically what this linear layout is first the linear layout is gonna say uh, we want everything in like a column um, just top to bottom since it's in vertical right now um, I'm just gonna switch back everything's listed vertically from like the top right down so every element that we add within this linear layout um, as you can see the linear layout starts here and it ends right here so we have two things within this linear layout both are text which are pretty boring but uh, they are vertical they're on top they're, you know they are just going up and down like you you've seen right here but um, for example we can change this vertical to be something like horizontal makes sense and uh, horizontal and hit A or save, sorry, and go back to the graphical layout. Where'd that other one go? Well, what actually is happening? Again, it's starting at the top right, and the next one is going to be over to um, one right of that. So it's off the screen because what we did is for this text view, we had the wrap width, or I'm sorry, uh, not wrap width. We had fill parent for the width of this text layout. So it's kind of being greedy, you know, and taking up the whole screen, not letting its other buddy. Uh, his other buddy is this is what's up he's not letting him have any action uh, so basically what we can do is we can um, have wrap content so it's just gonna wrap the text that's available uh, which is just like hello world or whatever we had it set up as so we're gonna save that and look at it again um, so now we have this is our first text view and this is our second text view um, which takes up the rest of the screen but basically this layout isn't really what we're looking for I just wanted to show you that you can do horizontal layouts, uh, but we're going to do a vertical layout and uh, save it. Now, what we want to—I just want to show you kind of, kind of some of the functions and how you set up these variables, um, because you can do more than just say what text it is. Uh, and how we're going to do that first, I just want to introduce you to a uh, how to set up something else um, like a button because text is just pretty lame all you gotta do is the pacman symbol or the greater, min sim greater than symbol uh, whatever you want to say and you know this is for text view to add a button all you have to do is hit button whoa button button and then um, as you can see we are getting this little air right here um, basically what's happening is we don't have any closing statement for the button. Um, as you can see for the text view, it opens with this bracket and this is how it closes it with the forward slash and then the less than symbol. So we can either close it off like that, not like that, like that. And whatever we define within this button will kind of give it, uh, you know, some style, some swagger. But uh, you can either set it up like that or if you want, um, you can also set it up like this and it automatically does it for you the close button um, so you can define your swagger in here uh, so however you want to choose it this this format or this format just remember all your magic happens within those two parameters and as you can see just like the linear layout is defined the way that this button is um, where you have your opening linear layout I'm sorry uh, yeah the swagger would happen within here um, just like it is with this linear layout you can see 
um, it kind of defines what it is and then leaves it open and then closes it down here so you know that's kind of versatile that's when you're gonna use for like uh, linear layouts in that format but it doesn't really matter um, so I'm just gonna stick to the way that we have the text view set up and just do one of these bad boys and now what we want this button to do is we want to have it um, basically fill the parent for the width and wrap the content of the height so we're just gonna copy and paste the same functions for this button now and we also want to have a text of some sort so we're just gonna copy this as well and we're gonna change the text to something like uh, button one now let's save it and check out if we uh, we did it right here um, so we're gonna hit back into the graphical layout and we have button one yeah that's pretty cool and everything um, looks like the text is a little small so we're gonna try and tweak it here real quick um, basically to you have some other text functions in XML so we're just gonna hit Android uh, colon and then see what we have we have for the text uh, we have some text size text style um, first we're gonna go to text size we'll define that first and how you define text size is by either um, pixels, so like 25 pixels, and hit or 35 pixels. We're gonna say change that to 25. Hit save. Check it out. A little bit bigger, a little bit nicer. But the problem when you define stuff as pixels is it's gonna be 25 pixels no matter what screen you're on. So on like a smaller screen let's say there's a screen that's only 25 by 25 pixels it's gonna take up the whole B instead of kinda of scale it down to what it should be um, so how you how you change that is we're gonna change it to something called DP for density pixels I believe um, and that will kinda of give it more of a, a, a scaled effect where if you're running on a lower resolution or re higher resolution it'll kinda of scale it to the way that you are developing right here and how it looks so uh, we're going to use DP and the other thing we want to do is change the style uh, which is we're going to want to make it bold so that's called style um, we're going to hit text and uh, style and then we're going to hit equals and it, when you're developing an eclipse it kind of tells you it walks you through I mean it gives you all those choices for like text style and then all we have to do is hit bold um, so I mean it's pretty easy when you're developing an eclipse which is nice so we're gonna save it again and look at it now it's bold looking pretty courageous um, with all its might another trick I want to tell you guys is control shift F but on Apple it is command shift F and it kinda of formats it for you um, so yeah, you can do that. Uh, kind of, kind of don't like the way that looks right now, but you know whatever. So as you can see, um, it formatted it where it's uh, really don't like the view of that, but uh, it kind of formatted it where it shows all these three objects are within this linear layout. The other thing we want we can do is change the gravity of of our text. Like if we wanted to move this is what's up into the center of what is available um, obviously the whole width is available so it's gonna move it to the center of what is available which would be in the center of the screen so to do that we're gonna go up to our text view object and the, make sure it's the one that says this is what's up and I'm gonna just kinda change it a little bit because I didn't like the way it reformatted there um, but uh, so within this text object all we have to do is hit Android again let's see what the text has to offer no not the text uh, what was that called gravity I believe gravity is what's called and we're gonna hit enter and then you have all these choices we're gonna hit center um, so if there was a if it wrapped the content I mean it f filled the content of the height and the width it would basically put this in the center of the whole screen but since we don't 
we have the height as wrap content it's just going to put in the center of the width so let's just check that out make sure it works oh that's so beautiful it's right where we, we wanted it to be um, so yeah you can kind of mess around with with those functions or whatever functions you find in there as long as you're defined within uh, the opening and closing bracket of whatever object you're working on now you know this is pretty sweet but I kinda want to show you um, how to add a background because we imported this uh, this background image and if we aren't going to use it that just goes to waste so what we want to do is we have our linear layout um, we have our linear layout and it has it wrapping or filling the parent and the height so it's taking up the whole screen uh, that's available um, so basically we can set the linear layout um, to have a background and we're just gonna hit Android background um, and we're gonna set this equal to at reference um, this is basically at drawable because that's where we saved our picture in the drawable folder so we're gonna say at drawable um, just like when we did with the string one wherever it is at string hello we're going to kind of reference this background image the same way. So we're going to say at drawable background one. And you don't want to include the PNG or the JPEG or whatever kind of image file you're using. Just keep it clean and sexy. Just like that. No extension on there is needed. It'll actually give you an error. So you just want to save that and we're going to check it out. Oh, that's looking that's looking slick. Um, so basically, that's how we add an image to the background of our layout. And uh, also, just to let you know, there's more options than just linear layouts. This can also be a scroll view. This can be like a table layout, an absolute layout, a uh, relative layout, and we'll get into that more as needed. Um, I might just put a whole series, a basic series for Android XML. I just want to get you guys kind of familiar with the coding though. I'm not getting into too many specifics, but uh, hopefully you like that tutorial um, and I will see you next tutorial. Thanks again for watching and subscribing. Uh, also check out my bring back as always and peace homies.